Can you teach me of how to get that 3D character? I want to be like you. I get asked questions like these a lot and it's not hard to see why. Lots of content creators are now reaching into the mysterious and wonderful world of VTubing. And honestly, it's the easiest way to become an anime husband or waifu. But what is VTubing? And how do you become a VTuber? A VTuber is a content creator, usually a streamer, that uses a digital representation of themselves. It ranges from using a still image to using various softwares and technology to have a moving and reactive model. There are many reasons as to why certain creators become VTubers. Some do it for the uniqueness factor. Others do it because they want a persona separate from their real-life activities. Others just want to become anime. Whatever your reason is, there are many ways to become a VTuber. But where to start? Well, first ask, what do you want to be? If you're not picky about what design you'd like, you can start off with pre-made designs and characters. There are many websites that offer pre-made models and art, but if you'd like to create a persona that's completely your brainchild, you're gonna need to brainstorm your design. Becoming a VTuber is becoming a character, and you're the one bringing life to that character. The design and appearance should more or less bring out the personality of your character. And the sky's the limit with what you could create. Want to be an animal VTuber? Go ahead! Think your character is a prince or princess from another dimension? Show it in their style! Want to just be a human with a job? That's perfectly fine too. Just brainstorm as much as you can to make your character a complete persona. If you could draw, go ahead and sketch them out. But if you're like me and the most that you could draw is stick figures, then that's perfectly fine too. Ta-da! You've got your own reference sheet. Next would be what kind of VTuber you think you can be. Didn't we just ask that? Oh no, dear friend, that was conceptualizing. This is now what kind of VTuber do you want to be? Yes, there are kinds. VTuber nowadays is an umbrella term for many different kinds of VTubers, with Life 2D VTubers being the most common. Other kinds include PNG tubers, 2.5D VTubers, and 3D VTubers. Each kind has their own pros and cons, and it all depends on your preference. I started out as a PNG tuber since, for me, it was the cheapest, convenient, and more relaxed option to dip my toes into streaming. As I grew interested into content creation, live 2D rigging, and with a few lucky chances, I slowly eased into becoming a live 2D VTuber with my own personalized model. Some factors involved in figuring out what kind of VTuber you'll become are What's your budget? What equipment do you have? What kind of content do you want to create? And many more! Eventually, once you've settled where you want to start, the next step is making your model a reality. To do that, you'll need a few artists. If you want to be a PNG tuber, pick out someone who's good at drawing PNG models. Live 2D and 3D VTubers, on the other hand, would need an artist and a modeler. Sometimes you'll need to find people who can do these things separately, but there are some who can do both in a package deal. If you're really determined, you could even do these things yourself. You'll just need any drawing software, any live 2D rigging software, or any 3D modeling software. It's an uphill climb, but it's not impossible. Even the simplest of models can still be a live 2D VTuber. Like this one. Licky. <laughs> Where to find them? There are many artists who post their commissions on Twitter. Or you can rely on service sites like Fiverr or Vigent to find artists. Wherever you look, be sure to take your time with finding the right person. Commissioning a VTuber model is an investment, so you gotta make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. That includes reading the artist's terms and conditions carefully, as well as knowing what's included in your commission request. So now you've got your model, next is to make it come alive. This is where your hardware and tracking softwares come into play. For live 2D VTubers, usually you need a camera of sorts, like a webcam or an iPhone. This needs to be connected to your streaming setup, and connected into the tracking software of your choice. Personally, I use iFacial mocap on my iPhone and connect it to vBridger to connect it to VTube Studio. But your setup doesn't have to be that complicated. A simple webcam connected into any VTuber model tracking software of your choice will do more than enough to make your model move. Just import your model in your software of choice, alter the settings, and boom! You're ready to use your VTuber model for any content you choose. That's basically how you become a VTuber. It's a lengthy process and it could take months to become one. But in the end, as long as you're having fun, then becoming one is worth it. If you do become one, 
Welcome to the community, and I hope to see the amazing content you'll make soon. So now you've got your VTuber model. Blah, 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 blah. But if you're like me, the most you could do is draw. Mm. Wait for the plane. And you're the one bringing life to that character. The sky. Oh. And you're the one bringing life to that character. The sky's the limit. Oh. I keep skipping that line. And you're the one bringing life to that character. The sky. Because they both start with the. That's the thing. Okay. Use yourself on any drawing software. Any live 2D. Show it in their style. Want to just be a human with a job? Want to just be a human with a job? That's perfectly fine too. Other kinds include PNG tubers, 25. Other kinds include PNG tubers, 2.5 DQ. Disclaimer. Airplane.